Good afternoon, uh, good evening. I got arrested a few months ago and uh, the point of this video is to let you know that a simple misdemeanor, you know, is not going to, it's the first time, uh, having the first time arrest then getting charged with the misdemeanor is not going to give you jail time. <clears throat> if it was non-violent, no drugs, you know, expect something simple. Nothing too crazy. So, with that being said, uh, back in January 31st, I got charged with uh, obstruction of justice, penal code 148, and trespassing, uh, penal code 602. And uh, I'm walking towards the place where I got arrested. And as you can see, this place here personifies uh, lots of agriculture, uh, places that look like they haven't been planted in years, some even decades, but uh, we're walking towards that place. So this is the field I'm next to right now. This is the farm that I live in right now. Things are going pretty slow. We're in mid-May already, you know, they're planting pretty slow, not giving the, not giving the workers a chance to even work on Sundays no more. I think they deserve to work on Sundays. And right now I'm just taking a walk. What we have right here, where far I can go, I don't know who's that over there. Oh shit, that's the sheriff. Sure, yeah it is. Let's see. You see that over there? That car that you guys can see. I don't know. I'm trying to zoom in. I don't know if they're watching me here, but I think we lost the car. But anyway, there was a car over there, and they're they're watching. They're watching me over here. The sheriff department. They're trying to see if I'm around this area. Um, very corrupted um, department, I have to say. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just gotta be aware of my surroundings now because I have been getting stopped around here for just driving around. And, you know, I, I've i always driven around here when I was studying my, my notes and stuff, you know. My dad works here. My dad uh, has gave, gave uh, asked for my permission if I can drive around here and the managers suggested I could. But uh, we have a savage over here who's driving around in the sheriff department who's just trying to arrest me again. So we're gonna walk to the spot. I'm just not gonna walk towards it because you never know these days what the hell can happen. So this is the, almost the spot where it looks like you have nothing there. Just a bunch of tumbleweeds and ragweed. It's the middle of nowhere. So this is a spot is pretty bad. And there's nothing here. All right, so here I go. So I got arrested here. You saw my short, my, my one of my recent shorts. If you, look, if you, if you scroll down to my videos, you're gonna see um, when the arrest when the arrest took place. Mm -hmm. um, the officer stated that I didn't want to give my name, uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, also trespassing. I don't know if it counts if you if if I stated that I wanted to leave, but uh, either way, the case is dismissed. You know, all counts dropped to the ground. I only got served community service, um, so it was all good. So I got 40 hours. So this video is about also about um, stating about that if you get charged with something minor like trespassing or obstruction of justice, 
Just expect something small. Just ask for a public defender. What they made me do here in this county, they made me sign <clears throat> a, a blue paper. Uh, and that's the public defender's notes. Uh, you gotta sign up and everything. You just gotta tell the truth about your your whole life and where you work at, how much, you know, your financial status and all that stuff. You can't lie. If you lie, you'll get charged with perjury, which is another charge. Bullshit. How use of words can lead you to prison. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so don't expect anything huge if, if you are... If you get charged with something minor, like a misdemeanor, don't expect anything big. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, don't don't run away from court. That's your first hearing. It's gonna be the arraignment, and basically, if you if you're a first time offender, nothing's gonna happen. Um. So as a first time offender, just don't expect anything big. Um, expect a fine to the court, expect community service, mm -hmm. expect, uh, don't expect any jail time. So don't run away from that, uh, the court from the arraignment because you're going to make matters worse. Um, if you have a non-violent misdemeanor, yeah, um, those you know, going to the arraignment for your first time, your first time offense, nothing is going to happen. Especially if you get a DUI. If you get a DUI, the worst that can happen to you is probation. You know, depending on your age. Uh, basically, you're going to have a conversation with your public defender. And, of course, he or she is going to state your charges. And then later on, uh, he or she will say, all right, um, here are your charges. Um, this is a possible jail time. Of course, the public defender told me this is possible jail time. These two carry boss of possible jail time. And she said, there's a restitution fine of $100. And then, of course, she said, um, there's also there's also community service. Um, so I think you should serve community service because of the age. Um, and I'm like, all right, I'll do community service. And now I had to do 40 hours of community service. And I got them all done in like two weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, don't expect anything big, you know, if you, if you get arrested for a simple misdemeanor, you know, the only thing you can't do is, is, is resist arrest. And I mean, resist by not letting the officers arrest you. Now, right there, you probably get community service, but <clears throat> probably probation because it's a more serious offense. The reason why I got obstruction was because I didn't want to give my name out to the officer. So this is the spot where I got arrested. I'm not going to get too close to it because people have eyes everywhere now. And I mean, I would always walk to this place even before my arrest. And of course, in my county, um, you didn't have to go and talk to the judge about, you know, you didn't have to say your whole story. All you had to do is the public defender was just, you know, saying that, you know, you're going to be serving community service um, and uh, you're going to be you know, you're, you're, you live in this place and you have certain spots to go for community service to get the work done. Don't expect anything big, you know. You don't have to, I didn't even have to talk anything in my first meeting. And my second meeting was just a diversion uh, review and uh, nothing happened there. All I said was just thank you. And I left because my case was dismissed. Yeah, so this is where my arrest happened right here. Can't see it right there. I got arrested right here. Um, I basically drove my my car down here, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little quiet. Basically, drove my car down here, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I just drove it here, yeah. and that's what happened. I got arrested here. This is where it all happened right here, middle of nowhere. And basically, this guy called on me, the dairy guy. This guy right here, that blue light right there, he's the man who called on me. Mm -hmm. And he said that, you know, he basically pulled, he put the sheriff on me. And, and this is the spot. I guess this is part of the dirt. I didn't know it was. 
so I'm not getting in there no more. You know, this is where it all happened. So yeah, there it is. That's where I got arrested, middle of nowhere. I thought it was in the riverbed. Turns out I was in this guy's field. Um, I don't know. It doesn't make sense because over there, if you will go to the other side of this of this road, um, right there, you have a red fence that goes around the dairy, the gentleman just said the dairy. And right here you have the same fence and it just crosses and it crosses in between this the yellow, these yellow poles right here and the telephone pole. And I believe I and I thought that the dairy was just up to there. But it turns out <laughs> all of this. This motherfucker literally called on me. It's being in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. That's some bullshit. I don't understand. The races in these days. Oh, races. It's crazy to me. But anyways, um, yeah, the, if you get charged with something simple, you know, don't be stupid. If you have a simple trespass charge, first time offense, expect probation or community service. But if you if you could trespass in the home, you know, that could be probation, you know, not binding. But if you stole stuff, expect prison time. Uh, if you hit somebody, you know, expect probation. But if there was violence, you know, I mean, you can expect some, like, probation five years, but, you know, but a first-time offense for something non-violent, no drugs, uh, no uh, violence, you know, misdemeanors with, yeah, misdemeanors, non-violent misdemeanors. I got charged with two. But if you get obstruction of, of a justice charge 148A1, um, don't expect jail time for the first time. It depends, you know, if you, you know, if you just use, you know, use of words, you're just gonna get community service all the time. Just don't resist arrest. Don't do what I did. Give your name out to the damn officer, even if it's your real name, you know. And if and the officer says, "Oh, you lied about your name," in the police station, they will scan you and they're gonna find out that that's your name. And then they're gonna erase your charges and they're gonna release you. When the when the officer says, you know. If you're committing a crime, always give your name out. Mm -hmm. Always. You know, fight this in court. Don't don't make it worse than don't don't miss court. Um, if you have a nonviolent offense, don't be scared of court. Go to court. The public defender is going to try its best to defend you. If you can't afford a lawyer, you're going to get a public defender to you're going to get a public defender to to fight for your charges. Um, you can't afford one, you're going to get a public defender to you. And that public defender is going to fight for you to not go to jail. You know, so, so yeah, if you get a DUI, expect probation. Um, you know, probation is what you're going to get if you get DUI. Um, I got locked up, uh, you know, back to January 31st. I'm not, I, I'm not going to say I was scared. I expected things to go well, right? I expected me for me to get released because I didn't do nothing. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, as all goes wrong, I get the charges. I'm like, oh my God, dude, 148A1, obstruction of justice. I got a court day, I'm going to jail. That's the first thing I thought, I'm gonna come back here. I didn't think I was gonna be released when I was there for like four hours. I was there for like seven hours. I got locked up at fucking five, 5 that fucking afternoon, 5.30, it could have been more, but I remember it being around that time when I arrived at the jail. And then I I, I, I got uh, released on my own reconnaissance at 12 in the morning, so yeah, 7 hours, and it sucked, it was, it was bad, I, I felt like I was in a state of the whole time, and uh, they gave me a crappy phone, I was calling my dad and told him what happened. And uh, they gave me this shitty ass phone with no signal. I, I couldn't even understand. I, I could have sworn this bitch was speaking Chinese. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I always think about those times and I remember them. And, you know, I'm glad that I'm here and I, I'm not over there, you know. Um, just got to think about the positive sometimes. But people are going to corner you and, and trying to 
make you think that you're not that you're, that you're nothing you know I, I try to ignore that that's why i mostly by myself because people nowadays are crazy so i try to ignore people as much as i could but yeah i mean you just it, it really put things in perspective a little bit for me you know i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna treat everybody nice you know what changed me is that i'm a little bit more better out here in this world you know to have all of these things and think about freedom and to be in there because the person who locked me up in there of course was white yeah a white person this is me mexican i mean of course i thought i was gonna lose that shit yeah don't expect anything big if you go if you if you miss court you're gonna get arrested you're gonna make matters worse for yourself you're gonna be there for 48 hours until you get in front of a judge so you have to wait 48 hours you're gonna be 48 hours inside a cell eating nothing all i got was a whole sandwich the whole fucking afternoon i was the sandwich some milk some milk and some and some and a piece of carrot you know that's what i got don't expect anything big though if you miss court you know uh, don't make matters worse because you get picked up anytime. You get picked up, you have two hours. Oh, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna farm like this. Why? Huh. Why do they put the pipes like this? Oh, they're gonna put a dirt road right here then? They're gonna take away, they're gonna farm like 2009. That's what I'm seeing. Anyways, yeah, if you miss court, you know, expect yourself to be in jail 48 hours. You could turn yourself in in front of a judge, which is sometimes going to be forgiven depending on your charge. But if it's a non-violent one, don't don't make it worse for yourself, you know. Now, if it's a drug, then I don't know about that. Um, if it's drug offenses, don't, I don't know what to say about that one. Um, all you know about DUI, when I went to my arraignment, um, I seen people with DUIs, um, a lot of inmates with felony cases, uh, and those didn't get released because some of them had uh felony evangelism i don't know what they did but they they said the judge said you know, i'm not going to release him so he stayed in for the night i don't know how much i think 30 days until his next court date but yeah yeah if you do something bad like that you're gonna get you're gonna be in for for a long time um uh, drug charges i'm not sure i know you get probation if it's a little a little bit of a here and there you know just a little bit of fucking drugs i guess but i don't know there's 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 nothing that uh that i expect from that but you know since there was nobody there with any drug possessions uh that i've seen in the arraignment but i know that for a fact that the ones in the the ones in the fucking uh The, the ones who have DUI, then yeah, you're gonna get probation as a first time offense. Always, all the time. Some say they get a fine or depending on how severe the DUI was. Yeah, how severe. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it for that one. Um, you know, after my arrest happened, I did see life a little different. You know, my life has gone much more different yeah and uh, i've seen life differently now so so i mean see some cars pulling in here i don't know who it is i'm leaving <laughs> Me too. someone's pulling in about two cars let's see what it is oh it left now it's scaring me over here Oh, it's the sheriff, I think. Is he coming this way? 
guess I'm running in there. <laughs> oh, me too. He's wanting that car over there. Oh, yeah, I am chilling. I look over there. I don't know if you can see. Shit. I don't know if you can see that car over there. That's the sheriff over there. He's behind another car that I just saw him pass. Right there, there's the sheriff. Right there. Just watching everything. Ever since I got arrested, he's been around the about. That's the sheriff department. He always comes out this time. Right now, I have my location off, you know, so. They don't know where I'm at. But I got to make wise decisions now. And, you know, just stay away from from this fucking spot here. <laughs> I mean, everything is fine. Oh, shit, another car. That one scared me. <laughs> Thought that one was going to turn. Yeah, I mean, you, you just don't know what to expect here. You know, there's a lot of things going around here. But, uh, you know... Yeah, I mean, if, if, if first time offense, don't expect anything huge. You know, expect community service or something small. Just, uh, just be smart with your words. You know, just, just make wise decisions. One of the two here, are, one of them has got to be the deputy. Yeah, it's make smart decisions. Don't miss court date. Um, don't make matters worse. Go to court on your first on your first hearing, and they're gonna tell you they're, you're gonna they're gonna set a bond basically, but basically get a public defender. <clears throat> um, he or she's gonna tell you what you're charged with and what what you have, um, what you can do to get the case dismissed. If there's any evidence, you know, against you, and you know, and what's what happened, the public defender didn't want any evidence from me. I said, okay, here it is. I have evidence. I was ready for the court, and it said that no, it wasn't, you know, necessary. But if you want, you can take this to a speedy trial, and you can fight against this case to get it dismissed on your hand, on your behalf. And I'm like, nah, well, I just do community service. I said, yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to be a court of the arraignment and then the pre-trial hearing and then the prosecutor, this and that, and then blah, 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 you know, jury trial. I thought it was going to be like that. I was so terrified. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be in jail. <laughs> I was scared. But, uh, you know, I got to look at the bright side at least. At least I'm out here. I'm walking. I'm a free boy. I mean, you know, it could have been worse. I could have been locked up over there. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm here. But there's still a few problems out here and there. But, I mean, it's not as bad as being locked up. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are locked up right now and they don't have nothing to do. They wish they could be over here. You know? It sucks over there. Kind of make wise decisions. Uh, yeah, so I mean, basically, just uh, just gotta be smart because anything can get you in trouble. You know, anything can get you in trouble. Even me posting this video, I can get in trouble because I'm literally mocking the victim here. <clears throat> you know, but how is that gonna be a victim? Another call. Look at that. Another fucking car. I'm jumping that fence. That motherfucker coming. Oh, he's coming. Another car. See, that could be the sheriff. Oh, look how slow he's going. Look at that. You see it? There's a lot of cars looking, lurking around here. Look at that. A lot of cars lurking around here. You don't even know who's who. <laughs> Jesus. It, it is a bitch living here, man. Yep. You don't know who's who no more. Yeah, buying stuff. I, I didn't think that was buried over there. Neither. <clears throat> I thought it was. I thought it was like 
this shit right here, the riverbed, but I guess it was a dairy. I guess so. <laughs> well, that's it for this one. I mean, you know, go to court. If you get charged with something minor, like trespassing, obstruction of justice, or DUI, go to court. You know, if it's a first time offense, non violent, nothing's gonna happen. You know, just don't drink and drive. Like make make wise decisions before you get under the, uh, before you get behind the wheel because you know you can lead to consequences where you, you, know, you you're gonna you're gonna regret. And right now I oh what is that oh rabbit that thing's walking too slow. And right now I'm just trying to just take it in. I have I'm taking two weeks off after that court. I swear to God. And then I'll, I'll get back to working. But uh, I lost my job ever since I got arrested, which sucked. You know, really upset that that, that happened. You know, I was, you know, I, I missed the next day, you know, because I got arrested. And somehow my boss knew that I got arrested and he fired me. And uh, that's what happened. Um, but it's part of life, you know, um, it's how it is, and, you know, I tried talking to him again, and he said, don't want me there no more, and, you know, that's how life goes. Anyways, that's it for this one. Hopefully, I can find a job, but somehow, they know everything that goes on around you. I mean, I, I, live, in, I live in a small valley, in a small town. And uh, everybody knows everything about you. So I bet you, when I got arrested, you know, just imagine the whole world was worse. Just blew like the wind to, to other people's ears. So that's what happened there. And uh, I lost a lot of friends ever since, you know. Um, so don't rely on people too much. You know, I've been losing friends for a few years. And I don't regret it. I actually love being alone. Like, it's just it's relaxing somewhat. Cause now with people, I feel really uncomfortable sometimes. It depends who, when I talk to females, it's a different story. I, I feel relaxed when I'm with them. But, you know, when I'm talking to other people, like, like, you know, I older guys, older guys are older than me, and it's, it's kind of uh, weird, you know. So, that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> Anyways, but a lot of shit happens and a lot of shit's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be careful with mine. I'm gonna take care of my life, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean that's it for that one. Um, don't expect something too big. Just go to court. You got charged with something like mine. <laughs>